Hey everyone, welcome back and happy Thursday. Okay, I feel like I'm like, I'm trying to get, it's not like I'm in a funk. Valentine's Day was yesterday. This is why I don't like some fucking holidays in the middle of a week. Because let me explain this to you guys really quick. And you guys might think I'm a little bit crazy and that's okay because I probably am and that's fine. I can accept that and fully own this. But what I'm thinking is when you go through a holiday in the middle of the week, like Valentine's Day, and last night Jason and I had the best Valentine's Day probably in our 10-year relationship, which is actually really pretty amazing. I didn't even think about it like that. But then after I woke up this morning, I did kickboxing, I did my workout, and then, uh, oh, it wasn't kickboxing, it was something, I don't know. Um, I did my workout, and then I was like, I'm ready to go on vacation. And that's the problem with holidays on the weekdays, because then it's like, you're, it's not Saturday, bitch. It is Wednesday, now Thursday. So now you got to get back into your shit and get back into your week, because your week's not over. So... If you're not working, who is? With that, we're back to talk about Erica Jane, Erica Girardi, and um, Kyle Richards. We have a few things to discuss. So before we jump in, go ahead, smash that like button. If you're not subscribed, get subscribed. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. And um, let's jump right in. Wait up, hold a minute. The truth about how Erica Jane escaped her marriage to Tom Girardi. Thank you to all about the Real Housewives. I found this to be very interesting. We're going to break it down. So details about how Erica Jane was able to leave her nearly 30-year marriage to Tom Girardi are finally coming to light thanks to The Housewife and The Hustler Part 2. By the way, I died, had no clue that they were going to use my voice to open up the housewife and the hustler part two. And then also seeing like my friends in there, Kiki from talk of shame, um, Emily D Baker. I was just like, this is really cool. Yeah. And then here I am trying to take off work. What if I would have taken off work in the first place, then we would have never been featured on the housewife and the hustler part two. Okay. Back to it. In part two of Hulu's investigative documentary, Erica Jane's lawyer, Evan Borges, Borges, however you say it, appeared alongside her good friend, Jim Wilkes. Now, before All About the Real Housewives spilled the tea, Jim Wilkes may look familiar to some of the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills fans as he was linked to Erica back in 2023. Erica and the 72-year-old Tampa Bay attorney first sparked dating rumors in June after they were photographed strolling through Caesars Palace in Las Vegas together. Now, a rep for the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills star later told All About the Real Housewives that Jim Wilkes is Erica Jane's lawyer and family friend of over 20 years, and there is nothing more. So back to the tea, on The Housewife and The Hustler 2, The Reckoning, Evan, who's her attorney, and Jim got candid about how Erica was able to walk away from her marriage to Tom and their luxurious lifestyle with practically nothing. So in summer of 2021, you and Erica were referred to our firm. That's what her attorney Evan said. I had some very basic questions for her. Why did you call for divorce just a month or so before the bankruptcy cases? And what did you know? Her answer to me is privilege, but I would describe it as escalating pressure in lawsuits. And my strong suspicion is that Tom Girardi consistently lied to this poor woman and she had no idea and she had no visibility into finances. So I heard he like forbid her wearing blue jeans. That's called either a control freak or an asshole, however you want to put it. But according to Evan, Jim provided Erica with $150,000 to obtain a lawyer. He also opened up a bank account for her and paid for the deposit on her rental home. She left that marriage. The only reason Erica was really able to do that was because of help from a longtime friend that she had, meaning you. And I think you gave her $150,000 to pay for a lawyer and to move out. Wow. Now, since 2020, Wilkes has subsidized Erica's lifestyle and has given her a significant amount of money to help live and pay her legal bills. Jim opened up a bank account with her and provided her with 
over time a significant amount of money to pay lawyers to make a down payment on a rental. I mean, if she didn't have the help of a friend who had a lot of money, she was lost. I mean, it was it was bad. And then Evan also noted before asking him, how much have you spent on this? And he replied, I have no idea, a couple of million. But he did reveal it has cost him this legal practice. However, he notes he can't concede. Now, Wilkes goes on to explain that he is a longtime friend of Tom Girardi and spent a lot of the time with Erica and Tom throughout their marriage. But he notes that Tom Girardi changed significantly around 2019. I've known Tom since about 2000. Erica, Tom, and I would spend you know, a lot of time together hanging out. We probably did four or five or six trips with, you know, each other. Tom knew a lot of fun people. Around 2019, Tom changed. Tom became very angry. You could tell, you know, there was a little hustle in him, but he was always cordial and he stopped being cordial and that scared me. Erica has been the victim of a great injustice and her crime was having a husband who wasn't trustworthy that she stayed with for 20 years. Okay, let me just say something really quick. And I, I am so grateful to be a part of The Housewife and The Hustler Part 2. I think that it is. Thank you, Hulu. Thank you, ABC. Thank you, Disney. And thank you, everybody who was a part of making that decision. But back to it. You're trying to tell me that this man... I don't think so, honey. Nothing in this life comes for free. Nothing. Not even the lottery. You're willing to tell me that this man gave you millions of dollars because you're just that good of a friend and there was nothing else happening? I know you guys aren't buying that shit. At least I'm not. People can buy whatever they want. I'm not buying that. Next up. I mean, I'm not buying that at all. So we're getting the season finale coming up. And we have um, Kyle Richards, who, yes, everybody's talking about how she imitated Lisa Vanderpump because we had Lisa Vanderpump's party planner. Um, come in, but also I don't even want to talk about that. I don't care about that. Did you guys see where Kesha promoted freedom with Kyle and Morgan in this strange video um, after they all had dinner together? So it was a video shared by the Hollywood Curtain. Kesha held a cardboard sign promoting freedom with Kyle and Morgan, and her sign said, Freedom, I've been waiting for you. Now, Kyle eventually picked up the sign holding it together with Kesha for the cameras. And come on, Morgan, you're in here too, said Kesha. And Morgan then placed her arm around Kyle. But later in the video, Morgan and Kyle drove off together alone after separating from Kesha. And I think that a lot of people were like, what the fuck is going on? I have so many questions and nobody is safe right now in this moment. I want to hear what you guys think. Go ahead, pop off in the comments, smash the like button, show some love, and let us know what you think, especially about all of this. And do you really believe that this man, Jim Wilkes, gave Erica all of this money, millions of dollars, and there was no actual real connection? He just felt bad for her? Again, I don't think so, honey. But that's just how I feel. All you have to do is go anywhere you get your podcast, click on Up and Adam, scroll down, and drop a rating. And once you do, let us know if you believe it or you don't. That's it. You don't have to agree with me. Once we hit 1,300 ratings, we are going to give away a product from Rose Forever. You get to go pick whichever one you want. And it's up to like seven or $800. So may the odds be ever in your favor. Love you guys. And we'll see you tomorrow for Hot Messy Topics. Bye.